Caitlin Clark kept doing what she's been doing. She had a triple double. The Indiana Fever got a win uh, against the LA Sparks, 93 to 86. Uh, that's her. Well, she had 24 points, 10 assists, 10 rebounds. L listen to this stat I found. Uh, WNBA stat. The most career games for a player with 20 points and 10 assists. Courtney Vandersloot had 10 games, 20 and 10 games. She played 422 games. Diana Taurasi played 559 games, had nine. Caitlin Clark has seven 2010 games, and she's played 34 games. Yeah. That's, like, that's, <laughs> that's different, That's outrageous. Man. That's different. It's, um, they said on the bra – I watched the game yeah. last night. What channel um, was it on? That part I don't know. I, what, here's how I find the WNBA games. I have Hulu TV. Yeah. I put on Hulu TV. I go to sports. I go to basketball, and I find the whichever WNBA game. I, I had the watch. Braves on one channel. I had the U.S. Open on another channel, and I was trying to find that game. And I got to the point where on the on the Xfinity thing, you can say it into the remote control, yeah. and I said Indiana Fever. And by the time I got to looking for it, the game was over already. Uh, so I missed it. Uh, I, um, but I don't think it was on ESPN. I, I don't think it was on the – what some of those games are on. Ion? Uh, yeah, like, it wasn't yeah, on that, I, I don't I, think. I honestly have no no clue. Also, full disclosure, like I woke up and watched it. I recorded it and woke up. I, I've been up since like yeah. 1145, um, just not able to go to sleep. Something's off with my rhythm. I, I don't know what the hell it is. Um, but watch the game. They said in the game, this is the second triple-double ever in WNBA history by a rookie. The other triple double was also Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Like Caitlin Clark is doing some really, really like phenomenal things. Things we haven't seen a a rookie do, and it's led directly to um, some some pretty good team success as well. Yeah. The, the Fever are fifteen and six in clutch games, second best in the WNBA. Clutch games, for those of you who don't know, is a game within five points with five minutes or less. Um, going on in the fourth quarter. So they they are, for a team that is led by a third-year player, a second-year player, and a rookie. And Mitchell, Boston, and Clark, for them yeah. to be that good in the clutch is amazing. They're also, I think since June or something like that, I think they are 11-1 and one at home, Yeah, which is, is just different. They, yeah. they, and this is this is a part of the reason why. Caitlin, this is, this is how they react when Caitlin Clark gets the triple-double rebound. Watch Kelsey Mitchell when that happens. She's, she, she's confused. Yeah, she didn't know what's going she, on. She's confused. Turn the volume up, Jacob, because the, the crowd, 10 seconds left, they've got the game won. And this is how loud the crowd goes on the bucket, on the rebound. Well, they're watching the stats. They know she's, yeah, one rebound. It won't away. go. Clark pulls it down, and this building knows what that you means. Hear how loud it is? Run it again, Jacob. Watch my man near the goal lane. Look how excited he is. I've never seen a fan react like this to a rebound. Look at him. <laughs> That's why. She, is, she brings out a different energy. They said it time and time again on the broadcast. It's a different feeling when Caitlin <clears throat> Clark makes a play or makes a bucket. The crowd reacts differently when it's Caitlin Clark yeah. doing that. Caitlin Clark had a couple of behind-the-back passes <clears throat> to Aaliyah Boston. One that led to a Leah Boston finish. The other one is a hockey assist for Clark, mm -hmm. but it is an actual assist for a Leah Boston who continues to ball out, make good reads with the ball when she has it in her hand. She ended up with a double double last night, I do believe. I think she was the leading scorer on the team. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she was a leading she scorer on the team. Leah Boston finished with 24 and 14. Like they 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 had no answer for her on the block. And you're talking about a team in the fever that can say, all right, we're going to throw Aaliyah Boston at you. Obviously, we're going to throw Caitlin Clark at you. Mitchell, who didn't shoot the ball particularly well from three, I think she was two of six from three, uh, still found a way to get buckets. She's still able to go by you. And then you've got Hull, who, one, is shooting over 60% from three, I think. Yeah. And she's somebody who is long, athletic. She can make plays defensively. She's one of those do-everything type of players who also can shoot the ball from deep. Like, she's De'Anthony Melton, but with a lethal three-point shot. That is wild to, to stop and think about, one, how young they are, how good they are, and how successful they are right now in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark is a large part of the mm -hmm. reason why, but all of those <laughs> other players that I named, uh, though, though, um, why am I blanking on? Is it Thomas? I'm blanking on somebody. Throw her in there as well. The the way that they 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 gelled together since the break. Well, they're six, they're six and one since the break. Uh, they've won five in a no, row. Six and one. Seven and one. It's something like that. Seven and one since WNBA play resumed from the break. Uh, only lost during that stretch was at Minnesota, and that's who they actually play Friday night 
in Indianapolis where they're 11 and one at home um, recently. Um, <clears throat> I also spent some time yesterday, CJ. I waded into the Cheryl Swoops space. What was that like? Where she was talking about, basically like a lot of fans were mad at her because there's a clip going around where she was talking. Uh, there, there's a promo during a Dallas Wings game where the the play-by-play -play guy is talking about Caitlin Clark and she doesn't say anything. And everyone's like, oh, well, her silence speaks volumes here. Why didn't she say anything? And she was basically saying, like, I'm not supposed to talk while he reads a promo. Because they also talked about another player on there, Nafisa Smith or somebody, and, and she didn't say anything about that player also. And she's like, look, I, don't, I didn't say anything about anybody because when someone reads a promo, it's like when you read a promo on here, I don't say anything. It's not because I don't like the person or whatever. It's because that's how we read promos on this thing. So... There's a lot of like people who are in their feelings on both sides of this whole thing around Caitlin Clark and around other players in this league and everything else. But I, I, I kind of feel like one thing I like about sports is the numbers speak for themselves sometimes. And the, we just went through all these numbers with that she's done and that Fever have done. And like it's pretty clear they, they're, they're kind of rolling along here. And it, see, you can't say that because the, the Caitlin Clark people – don't want it to be a a they conversation. They only want it to be a Caitlin Clark conversation. Who's they? The Fever? The no, Caitlin Clark. No, fans. when you said a, a they, they don't want it they, to be. They a don't they want it to be a team conversation. That's they what don't I mean, want the it fever. to be. They don't want a, it to be a fever a conversation. Fever conversation. They want it to be a and listen. Caitlin Clark is phenomenal. Yeah. The Fever had some of those players, Mitchell Boston particularly, last year, and they weren't very good. That's no. how they ended up with Caitlin Clark. I understand that, but. Some of this Caitlin Clark hate is coming because of the people who support Caitlin Clark. I'm talking to you. I hate you. I don't. I love Caitlin Clark, phenomenal basketball player. But you who support Caitlin Clark, y'all can get a bit beside some, yourselves. Some of the, some. No, of some of you can get a bit beside yeah. yourselves and be doing outlandish things in, in folks' chats and comments and DMs and things of that nature. You guys make watching Caitlin Clark less enjoyable. Jacob, why do you have to make this because, a two shot? Yeah, to make it a one shot. <laughs> make it a, and slow zoom it. I want them to know I hate you. Take me I out of do this. not like you. I love Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> Caitlin Clark is a gift to the game of basketball. You, you on the other hand, your fandom, your style of, of fandom, I could do without. I could do without you in general. You're awful. You suck. I do not like you. I don't like you at all. I love Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is doing things. There was another graphic floating around about uh, multiple triple doubles in a season. Yeah. And there's only been like four or five WNBA players who've done that. And the whole time I'm seeing that graphic is, oh, no. Here, these dweebs are going to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> Clark has but scored or assisted on 224 points in the five-game win streak, which is another WNBA record. Pre previously, that mark was 220 by Tarasi in 2006. So it's been, it's, 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 she's done some incredible things. She's an incredible player. Yeah. It's just I wish that we could have both conversations. I wish we could do, hey, Caitlin Clark <clears throat> is phenomenal for five to ten minutes, and hey, the rest of the Fever are playing really, really well. Yeah. Also, and Caitlin, partly part of the reason the rest of the Fever is playing really well is because of Caitlin Clark. Yes, absolutely. She makes them all better players absolutely. because she's getting them the ball in places they can be successful. They didn't have someone who could do that last year. Absolutely. Also, this is the most talented team by far Kevin yes, Clark has ever played. By far. By far. She doesn't have to play like Kobe like she did at Iowa last year, like taking all those wild have to shots. Take all yeah. of the shots. So she can say, you know what? I'm running down the break. Uh oh, Aaliyah Boston is trailing me. Let me give it to her. Yeah. Or oh, they are double teaming me off the ball screen. Cool. Let me give it to Smith. And then we, we just continue to swing the ball. Uh oh, hole is open in the corner. I could just throw her the rock. She can make it. Right? Like that's. That is a combination of Caitlin Clark's vision and Caitlin Clark being a special passer and those women out there making these shots. You know who else I like? And I, I don't, we, we're not in the huddles, we're not in the locker rooms, all that stuff, but I like Christy Sides, the coach for Indiana. I just like her demeanor and the way she carries herself. I did not like her at the, the start, start of the, the season because I thought she was a bit incompetent. Yeah. Uh, but as the season has gone on, uh, it's like, yo, this is, this is great. They needed a training camp, they needed a legit yeah. training camp, they needed a chance for everybody's body to also rest all the other well not all the other well also teams. they were coming right off the college season yeah. going right in the WNBA yes. season yeah and so you needed needed a chance for everybody's body to rest a chance to work through some things a chance to look at some film and see what you're doing and it's the, the margins are like that yeah like right? the margins between being a playoff team in the WNBA and being out of the playoffs are are that slim and that small and they've made changes on the margins to how they play and what they do 
And like listen, you can see it. The proof is in the pudding. Like you said, the numbers don't lie. Caitlin Clark is having a phenomenal season, as well as Mitchell and Boston and Indiana Fever. And I love to see it. Yeah, it's been awesome. We probably shouldn't talk about. Never mind. Talk about what? Never mind. Talk about what? Get the fans all mad. Getting what? What fans? All these fans. The Caitlin Clark ones. They can be mad. That's like y'all. Y'all are y'all are so annoying. I do not like you people. I don't. Clip it, Luke. But also be honest. Like you don't like most people. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. It's not just those no. It's not. It's not just you. I just dislike all. It's not just you. It's me. I dislike all people. Yeah. What can I say? The Jessica Benson Show with C.J. Hurt, live every weekday at 8 a.m.